Hello everyone, welcome back to another session of POA for you. And uh, my name is Leroy. Today uh, we are continuing with the specimen paper 2021 for NA levels, paper 2, question 1, part B. This is to prepare the statement of financial position. Um, now, in the last uh, video, we've prepared three steps or three core steps to approach this type of question. And we prepared also the statement of financial performance. And now I'm going to show you uh, how we would flow that information into the financial position uh, statement. Let's get right into it. So uh, this is where we left off the last uh, time and I'm going to take the financial performance statement and I'm going to cut it and put it below uh, just as a reference for now and I'm going to take the standard format for um, excuse me for financial uh, position statement and I'm going to copy that and I'm going to move it up so that it's more convenient for us to take a look at it um, Okay, I'm going to put it here instead. All right, let's hope it works. Okay, so uh, I'm going to take this out now. Okay, this is a standard format that you've got to remember to, right? And once you know the standard format, you can start populating all these items that are marked B into this, right? It starts with non-current asset. So what are your non-current assets? These are your fixtures and fittings and your motor vehicles. So fixtures and fittings in this list. The cost of this is 18,500. The accumulated depreciation of this is not 7,004. It's going to be 9,250 because there's a new balance, right? And then I'm going to take the net book value, which is cost less accumulated depreciation. That is 9,250. And then we have the uh, next item which is the motor vehicles so motor vehicles uh, cost is 14650 accumulated depreciation the new number here is 5274 and then the net book value is you know cost less accumulated depreciation um, then we have a total non-current asset of 18000 plus I've already used these items, so I'm going to mark them out so I don't have to worry about them anymore. Next is the trade, uh, current assets. So current assets, which are the items that are current assets here? Trade receivables and cash in hand. Cash at bank is not because this is credit, uh, credit balance, which means it's an overdraft. Um, so I will start with uh, cash in hand. And cash in hand is... 85 and trade receivables trade receivables i got no new balance so i'll put the old the original balance to 680 i'm going to mark this i'm going to mark this do i have any other current assets in the journal entries yes uh, look at all the b's and i have one here prepaid rent is in current asset so i'm going to display it here prepaid rent and it is 550. I'm going to mark it as done. Done. Nothing else that's current assets that are in this section. So I'm going to find out the total current assets. And I'm going to have my total assets to be total current assets plus total non-current assets. Okay, done. Now, owner's equities. Owner's equity. Uh, we have... Uh, capital and drawings are owner's equity but and also the profits will go into owner's equity here and the formula to do this the ending capital would be the beginning capital 25450 minus drawings 14380 plus the profits for the year which is 6180 okay uh, if it's a loss, then you have to minus the loss instead of uh, adding the loss, of course. And the total would be, uh, 
let's see what the total is. Mm, equals to this, 17,250. So I'm going to mark this as done as well. Done. And I'm going to mark this as done. So you've got to cross out stuff that you have uh, transported to the uh, relevant statements so that you know that these are checked and you don't have to worry about them. Current liabilities. So I have you know these two left trade payables and cash at bank so cash at bank is a credit balance i call it bank overdraft and this is one two four five and i have trade payables uh, trade payables so it's one five eight zero see there's no new balance so i'm picking the original balance right now i'm going to look at the journal entries to see whether there are other items that i need to add here and yes i have a uh, pns payables uh, which is a printing and stationary payables so i'm going to add this here uh, it's 66 and i'm going to check mark this as done and oh, I forgot to mark these two as done as well. Huh? I'm going to mark these two as done. I'm going to mark this as an advanced service fee revenue. All right, advanced service fee revenue. And that's 1800. And I'm going to mark this as done. Okay, so I've moved all the items, right? All the items are marked orange, which means that I've moved them already. And I'm going to sum this up. Okay, so I've got my total current liabilities. I am going to see what my equities and liabilities total is. Ah, it's 219412. So, great. Balance sheet balance. And this is the final answer for part 2 or part B of the question. Uh, um, I, I hope this has been helpful. Um, uh, I'll urge you again to redo this question and compare your answers to what I have here. And hopefully, you know, if there are any differences, you can figure out the differences by rewatching the video. Um, if you have any questions, uh, again, just post your questions on this channel or email me at poa for you at gmail.com. Uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, it's been a pleasure sharing and good luck.